the challenges that we face structurally in our educational system, in our healthcare system, in our criminal justice system, those are all tractable problems to be solved. They take consistent energy and work over time, but solving them is completely doable. Red wants all human beings to have the ability to build their life in the way that they want, have the autonomy, the competence, the resources to be able to do that. But for our young people, there are structural barriers that make it more challenging for them to actually live the life that they not just want to live, but like the life where they find purpose. That is the thing that we're trying to solve around. So the continuous challenge for me is to find the right time to push and the right time to pause. It's critical to do both at different times. I mean, if you go back to the very beginning of Thread, you know, I really had no idea what I was doing. I had no intention of building a program. I didn't even know what a 501c3 was. Sometimes pushing through discomfort is important, but also knowing when to pause and when to restore your energy. A colleague of mine years ago brought this to my attention and I started tagging spaces, whether it was a meeting, a family dinner, as something that either gave me energy, was neutral, or took it away. And then I stopped doing certain activities that were taking my energy and then eventually got to the point where now I'm almost fully in spaces where I'm getting energy. What that gives is an endurance that allows you to run you know, a really long race. And so it's a matter of creating the conditions in which you can be your full authentic self. And that takes time and energy.